U.S. Egg Breakfast and Lunch Restaurant is proud to sponsor this episode of Patriot Plates. Visit us at any one of our six Valley locations, family owned and operated since 1986. Let every nation know whether it wishes us well or ill that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Being in the military is being a part of history. And with approximately 18 million veterans in the United States, each one has a story. I'm Major Scott Husing, United States Marine Corps, retired. I had 10 deployments and led hundreds of combat missions. My company and I fought in some of the deadliest battles in Iraq. And I was fortunate enough to share those stories and honor the men and women who fought in my book, Echo and Ramadi. But most veterans don't get that chance. Welcome to Patriot Plates. Our producers have spent countless hours on the road searching for veteran license plates and the stories behind them. These veterans have first-hand accounts of what happened in our nation's missions, battles, and wars. Patriot Plates believes that all veterans should be able to tell their story. My name is Una Thomas, and I was with the uh, Harrington Army Air Base as a civilian employee, and that was in 1943 and 44. I grew up on a farm in Carleton, Kansas. I lived there until I was 13, and then we moved to Missouri. I finished my high school and then started college, but I only got through one semester when the war was going on, and a cousin told me that I would, should come to the air base and apply for a job. And so I did that, and I got on as a, 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 a painter, painting mainly uh, signs and nameplates for brass officers. I was 19 years old when I got this job. We had planes coming through all the time, and they were mainly B-29s. And the planes, planes came in with the uh, nude uh, insignias on. And uh, at that time, uh, we, the administration was pretty shocked with that. The one plane that I painted on was a dauntless dotty. I can tell you the story. A very embarrassing time for me. I was on this high scaffolding. I was dressing up this nude on the back plane, and the crew down below was pretty, pretty rude because they didn't want their insignia to be painted over with clothes. And about that time, the commander came by and saw what was happening, and I didn't have to finish it, and I never had to do it again. But class up that woman a little bit. <laughs> and then later, all of the, the airmen wanted patches to match the insignia on their jackets. 
but the government would not allow that because they said they were not necessary. And so there were four of us in the sign shop and we saw how disappointed the airmen were. And so we asked permission to make them on our own time. And the government said, yeah, that would be okay. So we're putting in a lot of hours then doing that. Toward the end of the war, we decided that we were going to have to charge a dollar a piece for the insignias because they were wanting them for their friends as well as relatives as, as well as themselves. We had more than we could handle, and we uh, sometimes got to design the patch ourselves because the airmen had not had time to have it, one painted on the plane. And uh, that was always interesting to find the design that they would like. And uh, I liked the rather comic ones better than the ladies. Although the ladies were very popular at that time. But the Varga girls were the ones that they were liking to have on their plane. patriotism is to me is being loyal to your country but on the other hand not considering yourself better than the people of other countries the world isn't perfect yet and when there is an aggressor against the goodness of other of, of people you have to stand up for it. After World War II, it was, there were shortages everywhere for everything, housing especially, and uh, refrigerators or cars, and they had that, anything for a long time. And I think that you should be proud to be here, but consider yourself lucky. Don't miss our next veteran story on Patriot Plates. Get notified by liking and subscribing below. We want to thank our special sponsors, the Papago National Guard Base and the Arizona Military Museum under the direction of Colonel Joe Abodili, who made this episode possible. I'm retired Major Scott Husing, hoping that the next time you see a veteran plate, you'll think about the story and the sacrifice that went behind it. Thanks for watching Patriot Plates. One veteran, one story. Save the Brave connects veterans through outreach programs to build strength of character. Our essential task is to prevent veteran suicide. Save the Brave is committed to providing veterans with post-traumatic stress ways to connect in a safe space. To donate your time, money, or resources, visit savethebrave.org. Reach out to a veteran in need and direct them to Save the Brave. Thank you.